I'm Jocelyn. Welcome to my Arrow Reaction and Review Show. All right, everybody. Last week was the 150th episode. It was really, really good. I love the intro. We learned a little bit much more, and we got a tease to find out who is Mia's friend, none other than Connor. Right, Connor Hawk. So let's find out so much more with this episode that's coming up. So today we are no, excuse me. So tonight we are gonna watch Arrow, season seven, episode thirteen, and the title is called The Star City Slayer. All right, let's go. See, it's a note. I said I'd kill you all, now your time has come. You will suffer. Kill you all. Is that a woman? I can find you anywhere. What's it say? Nothing. Some punk kid pulling a prank. Oh. oh. Definitely a man. Blue eyes. She's a vigilante. Why he's been lying to us. Go, Mama. No. Okay. She's. Come on now. Ready to talk? About what? Why are you guys both? Come on, Will. You know you can talk to us about anything? No. Please. It's not a big deal. I just got into a fight. What? I thought you'd be proud of me. I went for the nose, just like you told me. When did you tell him to go for the nose? That was over a year ago, and it was a lesson in self defense. Thank you. Please don't like you to get into a fight. Why do you guys even care? Every time that we spoke, you're telling me how much you love your school, about your new friends and, and your classes. What, what am I missing? You should have asked how I felt for once. But you don't ask other people for their opinions. You decide everything on your own. Just like you decide to go to prison rather than take care of your family. I don't think that's fair, but okay. Yeah. About damn time. Your algorithm kind of sucks. Nice to see you. Hey, too. William. Hey, Roy! Mark is not helping us. That means Black Star's our only lead on finding those bombs. You guys have any luck tracking her down? I spent the last few days searching the entire city. But... The bunker. This is definitely off the grid. God. I should think this place was so cool. I can't believe it's still standing. I can't believe my dad used to call this home. Yeah, well, no one's called this home for quite some time. Someone's been here. Oh, 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 oh! Someone's still here. I told you this wouldn't end well. Oh, okay. This is interesting. There's no good way to say this, but I've been offered a job at the Kohler Humanitarian Institute in DC. I'm going to create tech that will be able to help people all over the world. Curtis, I know you're not happy with the Ghost Initiative, but I was hoping that we could get past that. Besides, the work you're doing right here in Argus is already helping people all over the world. He's like, no, no. You believe that, John? Just not sure that I do. So you draw them in, and as soon as they're close enough, strike. Woo! Yeah! Roundhouse! Very good. Yeah, you're a natural. Thanks for teaching me, Aunt Dinah. It's so cool learning how to kick ass from the Black Mary. Keep uh. kicking the crap out of that shield, and Captain Drake's gonna have to deputize you too. <laughs> <laughs> William. I know a lot of you don't like William, but I like William. William has a deep place in my heart. I'm telling you, he does. I'm just a mom, okay? I feel it. I feel it. So, he's pissed. I mean, come on, let's think about it. He, he found out he had a dad that he didn't even know. Then he was kidnapped. He was on an island. His mom blew up on this 
on this island. Next thing you know, he had the father, who's the Green Arrow, who he didn't want, and now he's having to be raised by him, who goes off and risks his life, you know, to doing all these things. And then there's Felicity, and then their whole Richard Dragon bit. I mean, you know, for a teenager, he does not have stability in his life. He lost his stability when he was kidnapped uh, by Richard, no, by um, Adrian Chase. He lost that stability and then his mom died. And, and ever since then, his world has been turned upside down. So I can understand his anger. He doesn't have a normal childhood. He can't stick in one school and just enjoy being there. And the fact that his dad was the mayor and, and the Great Arrow, I mean, he didn't want that kind of life. So I get why William's really angry and the resentment has been building because every time he thinks he can trust his dad or Felicity, they go off because they're trying to protect him, but they go off and, you know, hide him out. And it's like he doesn't have a say. Granted, how do you have a say to protect yourself when you've got, like, these crazy killers after you and want to kill you? But still, you know. Um, so I get that. I get that. I, I, I feel for him. And some people don't even like the little boy. But I like him, okay? I like William. I'm a mom. He's, like, the same age as my son, so... There you go, William. Right? This is you. Right here. Okay. <laughs> huh. All right. Star City Slayer. Like I said, who could it be? Who could it be? And then in the fast forward, Mia, she shoots darts at the four of them. Hmm. So I'm happy to see Roy. I just noticed like his makeup and stuff. So yeah, he does look older, but it's good to see Roy back. All right, everybody. Let's keep going. I can't talk about so much, but I just, let's keep going. Oh, and wait a minute. Curtis, did he just put in a two-week resignation? What was that? Diggle's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. You're doing a lot of stuff here, but hey, Curtis, he has, if this is his way out, I don't know. All right. All right, William, what the hell are you even doing here? Funny, I was just about to ask you the same thing. Ooh, is that a backbone I'm seeing? Even if we give you the codes, you're just going to kill us. Just like you killed Felicity, and just like you're going to kill the rest of the city. So what is the point in talking? Someone is trying to blow up the city, but it's not me. And I sure as hell didn't kill Felicity. And who did? We both agree that, Curtis, we cannot afford to lose a talent like yours. So, we will Argus wants to make you the head of its science and technology division. You want me in charge of the entire division? The entire division. You'll be shaping the future of Argus. Couple things. We saw it from there. Felicity's dead, right? They say. But I've been thinking about this lady. <laughs> no, but I've been thinking about this lately. What if Felicity isn't really dead? What if Felicity faked her death? And she, you know, she's doing something else. I mean, Felicity is a genius. And I haven't heard or read or anybody mention this before. But... What if Felicity really isn't dead? What if what if she knew she was there was a hit on her and someone's gonna try and kill her and she faked it? I mean, come on. This is this is arrow. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking that um she's somewhere hiding and she sees all of this. So so that's kinda like what I'm kinda thinking. If you think that she truly is dead, where's the body? Right? Have we seen the body? If there's no body, she's still alive. <laughs> okay, so that's what I got to say about that. Diggle's just sweetening the offer for Curtis, making him the head, 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 so that he wouldn't leave. But it all comes down to Curtis, what do you want? What do you want in your life? Do you want like all that? Or I, I think Curtis is a good guy that he just wants straight more, you know? Or with Black Star, and she's got questions to ask. What about us? I already know everything I need to know about you. And you guys should have stayed out of this. You know us? I recognize you. You know him? Yes. And so do you. You're Connor Hawk. <laughs> John Dickelson. Good. Yeah. Call me if you need anything, okay? All right. 
Can I speak with you for a moment? Why? Sounds like you gotta go sit the city again. William, get over here and sit down. <sighs> what? <laughs> Your grandparents are trying to take you away from me. There is no chance that that's gonna happen. But I cannot. I cannot have you for backup every time that you're mad at me. It's the only thing that got you to listen. You think I'm not listening? I have heard and felt every single terrible thing that you've said to me since you've been back. Come on, I'm, tr I'm trying my best. That's the problem, because when you're around, things always get worse. You want to give me a normal life? Yes! That's all I've ever tried to do! That's why I'm, that's why I've asked you to come back here and live this with me. This isn't a normal life. I want to go live with my grandparents. There you go. flying around. Might as well have a freaking neon sign that says, hey murderer, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, Renee? Hey. Curse Renee, you take upstairs and the adult will secure down here. Hey murderer. <laughs> Split up. Have you guys ever seen a horror movie before? <laughs> Wait, Renee. <laughs> Crazy. It's all playing with your mind, y'all. It's playing with your mind. Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. Playing with your mind. It's a bomb! It's a Stanley kidnapped teen. Who is this? Gotta find out and must know him. How did we know? Blah blah blah. Oliver. Oh my god, really? It was Stanley! I was right! So that's how she gets her voice. Right. Okay, it was Chicken Little. <laughs> Stanley, it wasn't the cop, it was Chicken Little. Well, yeah, I guess it does make sense because, you know, he had this thing with Oliver and he was like, you're my friend, kind of thing. But, um, so now we know why, how and, and why she got that, that scar on her neck because of Stanley. Okay, we got that, we got that. I have to say, that the suspense was pretty cool, you know, with the music, the lights. Um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. Um, so is Stanley gonna go after Oliver? And okay, well, anyways, um, William, William wants to go live with his grandparents. Like I said, I think that's a good idea. Maybe that's why, and it explains where he's been this whole time because. He didn't want to be with his dad and Felicity. He wanted a stable life. He wanted a normal life. So, hey, William, if that's what makes you happy, and I think he will be happy with his grandparents, then go. Go. And I think that's the sad part is that Oliver's going to, if he loves him so much, he has to let him go. Sad thing. Okay. Um. Oh, oh man. Oh, Dad, I need you to copy. Can you hear me? Dad, where are you? Oh, sheesh. Oh, 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 oh my God. Are they all playing? Don't believe. We have to call an ambulance. They won't get here in time. They won't be fine. It's too deep. There's nothing I can tell. What? Wait, there's something I can do. I work on a new prototype. Made it for it, ladies, that might be able to cut her out the wound. Might or will? I don't know. But the only way to bond the cut is by burning it first. I've never tested it, though. Do it. Wait, what prototype? It's on the way. What was that? He said so fast. Yeah. Now she can talk. You 
Felicity. Then who did? No one. Felicity's still alive. See? How do you know that? I just do. That's why I need Archer to find Felicity. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. She'll say anything. Oh. You didn't need to do that. Not that I enjoyed it. No. How about those coats? Only after you tell me why you're looking for Felicity. Because let's just say we owe each other. What I don't get is you. You're no hero, want to be like the rest of them. You're obviously well off. They're brother and sister. Enough to not slum around Star City. They're brother and sister. So what are you getting out of this? Honestly. I don't know. I don't know. Closure, maybe. To ask Felicity why she disappeared from my life, only to contact me now out of the blue. Why did you guys date or something? God, no. I'm gay. She's my mom. Step on. Oliver Queen is your father? Did you get anything out of him? Yeah. He's supposed to be watching the others. Woo! There you go. Go on, Dinah. Woo! Look at her go. Bam! Come on now, Zoe. Get out. Look at this new generation. <laughs> Dang, guys. This is an awesome team up. Fights like a dad. Woo! You first. Nice. It's too spicy. What are you talking about? It's perfect. It's absolutely delicious. It's a fact. I will have seconds if you could pass me some more, please. I can't. See? I can't even move. I can't either. What's that sound? <gasps> oh! What's going on? Stanley. Oh. What do you, you know, what do you get out of it? And he said, he's like, what are you, a couple? He's like, no. He's like, I'm gay. Felicity's my mom. Well, stepmom. And she just like started, I think they're brother and sister, y'all. I really do. Because then when then when she, she says, uh, you're Oliver Queen's son. Hello. And then that's her dad, blah, blah, blah. I think they're brother and sister. So I hope she just like confesses that, yeah, you're related. Anyways, that was a cool fight. Um, new generation. So I think that's pretty darn cool. And seeing Connor Hawk, the Stickles boy. I'm sure Dickle, where is Dickle in the future? Did he die? What happened? So, thought that was pretty cool. That's messed up, Dinah. <sighs> pretty deep and stuff. But hey, she was still able to convey that that killer is after Oliver. So darn it. I'm going to say darn it that we know it's Stanley. And I didn't want... I didn't want the killer to ready, you know, to just have it be done in this episode. I wanted something to kind of be dragged out a little bit just for that suspense. So if they're going to finish it off in this episode or carry over, then so be it. Um, William, yes, he wants. So this kind of makes sense now. So he, William made a decision to, on his own, he wants to be his grandparent. This is the life he wants. So that's why... Him, uh, him, uh, all, you know, his dad and Felicity, they didn't spend much time together for him growing up. He was off being, being raised by his grandparents. Okay. Please, Captain. I'm Black Canary. What did she do to her? It doesn't matter. Because we're together now. We can go somewhere new and be a new team. But I don't know about her. 
She had a falling out with her mama, but why is her last name not Queen? Why is it just Smoke? What happened? Okay, I knew that was gonna happen. Predicted it. Okay, so William. William goes with his grandparents. Now he's safe and sound. He's gonna live. He's gonna go to his junior prom. 
He's going to learn how to drive from his grandfather. They're going to have seasons, holidays, picnics, and he's going to live a well life. So I miss you. I hope he comes back just because, you know, just to visit his parents or at least Central City. Hey, just tell Barry that, you know, look out after my son. You got the whole crew there, right? That would be cool. Um, yeah, you know that. You know that's going to happen. And, of course, Barry's going to be like, Barry and I are just like, sure, yeah, we'll, we'll go visit him. But I don't think he knew Barry was a flash, though. Anyways, it'd be cool if we did get a cameo of William and Barry as a flash. Like, hey, how you doing? Okay. Um, okay, that's all I got to say about William. Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. He is out the door. Huh, crazy. But you know what I have to say to the actor? You crazy. You cra crazy, man. But you played it very well. You played it very well. Um, <laughs> once Oliver got a hold of that glass, whoosh, that was it. That was it. So, huh. I just have to say that that was a dramatic scene. Kind of, yeah, kind of crazy, but... Huh. Anyways, so Dinah. So that how Dinah loses her voice. So then we just have one black canary and it's Laurel. Okay. What else? What else? What else can I say about I like this episode? Um, definitely I liked how, you know, Oliver wasn't really in the mix. He was dealing with his own family issues. So that's what we really saw with Oliver, Felicity, and William. It was really about them as a family. And could they continue on regarding this lifestyle that they have? And after that experience, the answer is no. But look at that. Felicity was like, Dr. Schwartz, what? Huh? I'm pregnant. So now what? So now Felicity is fragile and she's she's carrying a baby girl okay so yeah we are saying goodbye to echo Cullum. i'm gonna miss you man i do have a picture i'm gonna post it right here that i actually did meet echo last december at heroes and villains fan fest over here in santa Fe, california he is such a cool guy he really is so i'm really happy for him i guess he's going off to new ventures maybe he'll come back for a cameo but i'm gonna miss mr terrific he is such a cool guy. He really is. He really, really is. So I'm, I'm really fortunate that, you know what, I got a picture with him. I'm hugging him right now. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I can't think of anything else that I got to say. It's just we are moving forward. And her mama, Mia, said no, she's still alive. I knew it because she's the daughter. You know, you're just going to know, is my mom really dead? Oh, she's alive. She's alive. And I'm thinking, like I said, I think Felicity faked her death somehow, some way. I don't know. And there's got to be a falling out between the two somehow. I wonder if we're going to get flash forwards of Felicity and Mia. Um, You know, like what, what was their falling out? I mean, we've got to see some Felicity like before that, don't you think? Okay. All right, so that's my review and my reaction. Okay, let's now do shoutouts. Okay, so I want to say thank you. We had some good dialogue, you know, last week. I thought there was some really good dialogue. So let's continue on. And I'm sorry I didn't respond back to you, to the people who commented. I didn't respond much. I My life has been kind of full, but you know what? I will get back to it. I read all your comments, and I do have a response for each of you. So I will get back to it. Okay, so a hello to King Remo Gaming. Slim Jim, I miss you, buddy. I miss you. All right. Duper Super 1938. Erastus 1 Dingy. Dingy. Za 819 Game Girl. P Fruit 916. You had a really good comment about William. And how you understood him and his frustration. I just gotta say you were very insightful. So I really like that. It's a Cinco. Oh, this is new. The Holy Machiavelli. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Mac Technic. Top Gig. The Anti-Monitor. Canadia Graph. Canadia. Am I saying it right? Canada. <laughs> Sorry. Why? Why? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Canada Graphs. Monte Curry, Michael Maxi, The Oracle, LWC Drawings and Basketball, Dirk Gently, and Tamia Smith. 
I know, I know about the black lightning. I know I'm, I'm gonna do a black lightning marathon. I just gotta figure out how I wanna make it work. Okay, everybody, Arrow was off the chain. It was 151th episode, and I will see you next time. Please follow me on Instagram or Facebook, watch Justin RP channel, and share, like, subscribe. I will see you next week. Bye.